Hi. We're all going through something unexpected, something that we've never been through before. And we don't each have a script for our part in how to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Everybody is figuring it out day by day, including all of us in leadership here at First United Methodist Church. Based on what public health officials uh, have advised regarding social distancing as a way to flatten the curve on the spread of this new virus, uh, as of now, we've decided to cancel all in-person gatherings at First United Methodist Church through the end of March, um, except for our AA meetings. We will continue to assess the situation uh, and update you if we need to extend uh, those cancellations to a later date. For many people, church is the go-to place in stressful times, so it was tough to make the decision to close up shop just when we're feeling the need to be together in fellowship, in prayer, and in worship with each other. Many of us have been through that before with hurricanes. You may want the familiarity and the comfort of being together in the church, a word of assurance that God is with you um, and that things are going to be okay. I feel that way too. Since we can't gather to do that, your staff and your other church leaders are using online tools and phone calls now more than ever. Adult Ministries Director Anita Woolsey uh, has been busy making lots of phone calls to check on those members who we know are not computer users and who won't be getting updates like this one. She's asking our older adult members what kind of help they might need, especially if they need help with errands in order to avoid having to go out in public. Children and Family Ministry Director Nakia Larson has a team of younger members of the congregation who are ready to do those errands. Also, Nikki will be sending out resources to our families with children, uh, resources to help parents while their kids are out of school, um, and also ways to keep Christian education going in the home uh, during this time that we're not gathering for Sunday school. Anita is looking for ways to do small group gatherings online and youth director <laughs> just say hello to the cat <laughs> okay that was our cat um, Anita is looking for ways to do some small group connections online and youth director Tora Rodriguez has already organized some virtual gatherings for our youth Interim music directors Weta and Dennis Richardson and myself um, are preparing to lead worship online for Sundays March 22nd and March 29th, along with the rest of our music staff. Again, we'll let you know down the road if uh, we need to extend that. We're grateful for Richie Reitman uh, and others who are getting us up to speed for live streaming. It'll be fun. It'll be different. I'll be continuing our Lenten series, Journey of Stones, with messages that are specific to our current situation. We hope you'll connect this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. via our Facebook page. If you know somebody who doesn't get online, reach out to them and let them know that we're doing this, that we're not having worship and other gatherings at the church. Also, just think about how you might include them in online worship or reach out to them to just let them know that you care, uh, that you're praying for them, see how they're doing, and maybe even pray with them on the phone. The church building is closed for activities, but our ministry continues. Our staff is being creative and finding ways uh, to lead us to keep on being the church during this crisis. So a quick word about giving. Your financial gifts are still needed even when the offering plate is not being passed. So please continue or begin giving online or mail your gift to the church. It's an unusual and difficult time for us and for the whole community. I'm praying for you and for our whole church and for the world as we go through this strange time. Let's be in prayer for all who are coping with the effects of COVID-19. And let's remember why we are taking these measures in the first place. It's because we care for those who are most vulnerable in our church and in the community. The scripture that comes to mind to offer to you today is Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 9. The Apostle Paul writes, Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 
And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Remember that God is with you, that you're not alone. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you now and always.